Health is vital to freedom. Without it, there's a life of compromise. The life I've lived since I was 13. Expression without movement. All right, so we're gonna try and go through this as best as I can. We missed a number of days and I really wanna be able to brief you on at least today and the past day. Today happens to be December 14th, 2018. And I'm just wiped out, like, so wiped out from dance classes today. It's 12, 13 a.m. I want to go to sleep really bad. I just took a shower. I mean, I'm still in the towel. I mean, oh my gosh. The past two days have been amazing. All the days before that, not so much. I mean, literally, take a look at the setting here. I still have a bed here. I'm trying to sell a bunch of stuff. So look at my room because it's a complete mess, okay? Boom. There's a ton of video games here right on the table on top of the stand that I'm perching up. Boom. I'm trying to get rid of the Xbox and I'm shipping things. So there's a ton of stuff around here. Boom. All the packages and books and stuff I'm getting rid of in that case, it's all taken out. Boom. Chairs in the way. Boom. Look, there's a mattress here. My clothes are out. All the stuff that was normally over there has now been moved because I got this bed, blow up bed here now. And there's just so much stuff. So much stuff. Mattress. Oh, oh, oh. It's all in the way, right? So it is a complete mess. I'm trying to get rid of as much stuff as possible so that I can be free. I won't be burdened by materialistic things. You know, I can just do me. And not have to worry about anything. That's the goal. So, once I get rid of all this load, all this stuff that I don't need, I can move, I can travel, I can do whatever the heck I want to do. Do you understand? That's what I want to do. So, when I get healthy, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I'm not saying travel linked to a different part of the world is going to free my spirit. But I believe it's going to give me an experience that will change me. And it's got to be for the better. I'm not saying I gotta move, okay? I can I can be a wandering soul. Yes, we all wonder how that's gonna work out, but um, I gotta have my own company for something like that to happen. Uh, there's just so much to this concept, and my back is bent over. I'm so tired. I feel like an old man who's just falling apart. Like at the end of the dance, I was just like, oh yeah, the last bit of energy I got. Ugh. Oh, okay, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. Yesterday, I went and took a class with Kyrie, okay? And this guy, he broke it down for me. It was just me and him. Nobody else attended the beginner's hip hop class. He broke it down for me step by step. He told me how to feel out the rhythm and the beat and really be in synchronicity with that. And that point A to point B, this is this is your, called your groove. And you really gotta be in your groove and better understand you so that you're always grooving with that same feel when you're doing the same rhythm and moves. And then when you add in different variations, you're still gonna have that groove. It's gonna be you, right? So you wanna keep in with that funkadelics of, of what your groove, your style is, and you just do the simplest of moves and make that consistent, clear and concise, what you're like, right? He taught me that. And he taught me that dance is a language. Dance, being able to immerse yourself with the soul and the music that speaks worlds. And when you can be able to embrace and dance with other people, you're gonna speak a language. If I'm flipping out and bouncing my body around, okay, I'm not understanding the language and nobody's gonna to wanna to communicate with me because I'm just like in my own world, I'm doing my own thing, but nobody's gonna to wanna to groove with me, understand? Dance is a language. So that's, that's another hit, like hit hard. Because I didn't understand that. I'm like, what if my type of dance is just jerking around and doing extreme things, you know? Well, then nobody's gonna wanna dance with you. Oh, okay. Well, that's a pretty deep hit. Um, now I'm starting to better understand it because when you see people dancing with each other, you see them engaging, you see them playing, you see them having fun, you see them exchanging values. And that's really, really fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So I gotta check in with that and better understand and interpret it, um, see how I can be able to exchange myself 
through all these different art forms because it's just absolutely phenomenal. I only have so much time, so I've got to max out the amount of time that I can be able to put into these dance classes. Now, today, I can barely stand. <laughs> I can could barely bike home. That's how I got home. I went to work today, the first day working at Italia. I ended up calling Morgan yesterday, and she's like, oh, I was waiting for you to call me. I'm like, what do you mean? I left a message. I'm like, let's get started. And I ended up going in today, first day. Everything went great. Great. Like, I introduced myself to everybody, shared so much energy, shifted things. And at the end, you know, it turned out that Morgan ended up telling Gabe, which both are managers, to be able to dim my light a little bit. And I'm like, oh. even before I said it, I'm just like, don't tell me to dim my light, man. <laughs> so we ended up agreeing uh, to me sharing my energy to the umpth degree. So that means infinite. So cool, you know? And if we have any problems, then Morgan, talk to me, okay? That's how we're gonna settle it. That's how we're gonna move with it. That's how we're gonna groove with it. Nothing else needs to be said. My energy, my enthusiasm is refreshing and it's gonna bring in so many returning customers. Believe me, those people that I helped and I didn't even serve them, that I helped, that I saw to, they're coming back, okay? I'm gonna be so happy to see them and they're gonna be happy to see me too. And when I get the chance, blooza, they're gonna have a good time too, okay? So that is what you're looking for, returning customers, right? In any restaurant business, that's what you want. And that's what they're gonna get when they have me. They just haven't realized it yet. What they thought was high energy or a little too much, I haven't even started serving yet. I've been the second player, meaning I don't get to exchange and feel and vibe and react off of other people's energy. I'm the outside counterpart revolving every once in a while, touching, touching, touching. So when I get to perform, it's going to be absolutely outstanding. And what you thought was here is going to be here. And I don't know what that looks like, but it's going to be a blast. And hopefully things work out, man. I've been selling some of these things on, on eBay. I already got rid of, you know, a book, a textbook which basically almost cost me money f for a rating. And I got rid of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And I'm selling the whole stack of these books that I grew up on. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You know, this whole series, I got five books. It's all going gone, okay? So those are going to be sold to somebody. 23 bucks for that. And I gotta ship it, so it should be like 18 bucks, maybe 19, media mail. And I'm looking forward to this e-commerce thing, um, just making me some money, getting rid of all my shit, because that's all I want. I just want to get rid of it, okay? And I um, apologize for the unsteady camera, that's just what we gotta deal with right now, with all these games here, it on top of it. I cannot wait until I relieve myself of all this crap that I don't want. Just thinking about it frees me, okay? I don't know about the speakers. Obviously, I gotta get rid of them at some point. I'm not producing music. It's fine. I'll give them to a producer. You know, it'll work. Oh. In dancing today, I danced with K. Nicole. Awesome. It didn't go too great. Couldn't keep up. I wasn't even in it. Like, I was out of it. I wasn't in it. I was not there. I couldn't feel the music. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't catch the moves. It was too much for what my body was capable of and my mind at the same time. And it was so bad. Like, I didn't get it. Like, I didn't get any of it. I didn't ask any questions. I didn't give a crap. That I just stepped out on their second take for the video of what the end result was. I stepped out. I would never do that. I would never do that. But because, like, preference, can you just film this part, you know? I'll step out out of respect. Fine. You want your video? Cool. If I suck, whatever, man. I happen to know that I could do better, so I'm going to step out. 
okay? And I'm not going to mess up things for you or for anybody else's groove. When I get good enough, that will not happen. And I don't need to ask permission for switching spots with other people or whatever, okay? Give notice. I'm here. I'm at the front. This is what I do, okay? It's really hard when you can't be true to yourself and being able to come up to this expressive barrier where I'm stopping myself from being able to get to that point at many various times. I don't know what it is going on with my brain, but the circuitry, the body, my spine's a lot of loop. It gets really hard. So after doing that, not really caring about that class, um, hearing what Kay Nicole said, you know, watching other people switching spots, you know, being able to shift your position so you can see how other people are reacting and imitate them or whatever, you know, or move toward the middle kind of makes sense, but it doesn't make sense because I want to do what I want. And like, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. I've been a teacher. Trust me. All the reason for me not to trust you you don't rationalize that and then say okay and try and get me I don't understand I, I didn't want to agree <laughs> you know what I mean I've been in a lot of scenarios um, but what another teacher told me was how do I not have to rely on you Alex how do I have to not rely on you when I dance what is the differentiator from me and the music and you? Watch yourself, he said. Pay attention to yourself in the mirror and listen to the music and get used to your own muscle memory. So those were two completely different perspectives. I don't feel like that person's at all trying to do anything wrong with me. The whole room was like a different energy. Everybody's thrilled. Everybody's happy. Everybody's like, oh! The other room was completely silent. There was no energy, okay? It was just dancing. That room, we're reacting, 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 reacting. Fun. So, it begs to differ. What is this class about? And what is this class about? This class, uh, I enjoy it. It's really hard. It's really difficult. I don't want to listen to you. This class, hmm, you're really cool. You're helping me out. You're doing things for me. Hmm, okay. I understand. And you're teaching me a language. You're flipping a switch. So I don't want to agree. I want to agree. Hmm. Dance is a very interesting thing. And I think there's so much that I don't know. So much. And as long as I just stay in this state where I have to keep learning have to keep learning have to keep learning i believe i can do really good things but my neck my whole body's collapsing it's getting really really hard even harder 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 i mean it gets a bit easier but i feel like my neck is starting to really move forward now i'm in trouble oh man i'm in trouble i don't know how long i'm gonna be able to last i believe by 21 i'll be having my surgery I gotta do the finances I gotta do the math I gotta be realistic with my goals man cause some of this stuff just ain't enough it's not enough you know what I mean like let's just say I make $1500 a week that's really fast I don't know <laughs> alright well I don't know what my tips look like yet so we'll see but in any regard I'm so glad that I took that class I had a lot of fun it was a feminine hip-hop class. The first one was intermediate hip-hop. The second one, feminine hip-hop with Alex. You know, I really enjoyed it. It really helped me break out of my shell. The first half of it, I was thinking those people were laughing in regards to me and how I couldn't move my body femininely or move my ass or anything. I'm just like, like what's going on? Are they laughing at me? Like, I don't understand. And then I just stopped caring. And then I burst with energy and really gave it my all. And then things started to change, they started to go well. And then and then I started to interact with them and exchange and have a little fun. It was cool. Okay. Right on.
yeah, you do you. And, you know, I felt a little more welcome at the end, which is good. And I got to do my thing, you know. Kind of got to blend, but not really. Not really, I tried. I tried. It's really hard when your spine is, like, kinking you out. And you cannot move. You cannot swerve. You cannot groove. You cannot bend freely. Oh, man, when you're locked up like that, dude, it's so hard. So embarrassing. So humiliating. Oh, it's so hard to do. <sighs> to push and push through. Oh my gosh. But I'm so happy I'm doing it. Rather than not. Okay. I'm just really afraid that my body's going to cave in. I'm really afraid. Really, really afraid. Of what's going to happen. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen moving forward. But I do know that I gotta get things right. And if that means justice, then I gotta take care of myself, my body, dancing, my job, everything. And I'll take it home to the doctor that screwed me up in the first place. Because the evidence says this dude was hiding the evidence from me. He was hiding the case and that's malpractice, medical malpractice. I'm just realizing this now, so I really should take action upon it and sue the guy for medical malpractice because I don't deserve this. I'm so messed up, so messed up. And if I'm gonna do any justice, he did me wrong and he hid it, he covered it up. He deserves it, okay? So get a lawyer, do what you gotta do. Pursue dance, heal, and really get real with your goals. I know that there's this massive barrier that's saying you can't do this, you can't be a performer, you can't do this, it's not possible. But look, man, if all you really do need is your surgery to recover, and then that's it. That's the last thing that's stopping you. That's how I feel about it then get it done. That's all it is. Get it done. And you can be free. You can do whatever the heck you want. It's really simple. All right? Tilt your head back. center of my back. Oh, it's like an anchor. I hope that popped in right, not wrong. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get some rest. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to everything moving forward. Happy holidays. It's December 14th. Christmas is 10 days away. I don't have any holiday spirit or feelings or anything. I'm so disconnected. Whether it's with my family or friends. Dude, if you just gotta hustle, hustle, hustle. Do your thing, man. You know? Do your thing. Grow your crowd. Whatever you gotta do. And don't see the internet as this massive opportunity when you could pursue your purpose. Okay? Build relationships with people that matter, okay? They'll help you, okay? I love this Gary V thing. I love it. I'm doing it more often now, like, yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, good night, y'all. Yeah. Michael Earthosada signing out. 1231. From how much I've been through, it's got. <laughs>